Thank you for tuning in to the Scenic City Crokinole Classic, a Tier 1 National Crokinole Association event. My name is Garrett Tracy, and in this video, I'll be giving some context on the tournament, some background of the competitors. By the end of it, I hope you are convinced that this series needs to be at the top of your YouTube watch list. This tournament is part of the National Crokinole Association Tour, which means it brings out world-class crokinole competition. The competitive division saw 15 teams, four of which moved on to the semi-final round. Three of these teams we've seen before in coverage. The feared Beerling brothers, Jason and Ray, came out on top of the pool. Just behind them, tied in points, behind in 20s, was Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson. Then a new team on the scene, Nathan Walsh and Garrett Tracy, followed by Ron Langell and Josh Carfiello. And in our first semi-final match, we have Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson versus Ron Langell and Josh Carfiello. We've seen this team play before and they have had great success at tourneys. They placed third at the World Crokinole Championship doubles as well as third at the 2024 US Open. Andrew Hutchinson in particular has had great success this season. He is first in the NCA rankings currently. He won the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship and has been a semi-finalist at every single Tier 1 National Crokinole Association tournament so far this season. Up against them is no easy feat as Hutchinson and Tracy will be facing off against Ron Langell and Josh Carfiello. As a team, they have seen great success. Matter of fact, they are the returning champions of the Scenic City Crokinole Challenge. They also made top 12 at the World Crokinole Doubles and placed third at last year's Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship. Ron Langell plays second at the U.S. Open alongside Paul Brubaker, and Josh Carfiello has seen great success placing second at the World Crokinole Championship singles as well as second at the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship. This match is sure to be a doozy and the second semifinal is no exception as we have a new team, Nathan Walsh and Garrett Tracy, facing off against the Beerlings, Jason and Ray. Nathan Walsh and Garrett Tracy are the only team amongst the semifinalists that have partnered up for the first time at this tournament. Now Nathan Walsh needing little introduction being the man, myth, and legend behind Crokinole Center has had a great season being just shy of the top 10 in the National Crokinole Association standings. The last time he was on camera was at the Forest City Flickers Crokinole Tournament in London with some great matches amongst the top players. Partnered with him is Garrett Tracy making his debut in a semi-final round. Being the most rookie of these players, he still has some accolades under his belt, including making the top 16 at this year's World Crokinole Championships, as well as top 12 at the 2023 World Crokinole Championship doubles alongside Magnus from Sweden. We will see how this new team fares as they face off against the Beerlings, Jason and Ray, being one of the most feared doubles teams amongst the Crokinole circuit. They are eight-time World Crokinole doubles champions. They were the winners of the Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship. They were the winners of the U.S. Open Crokinole Championships. They have way too many accolades under their belt. Ray and Jason in the season of the NCA have seen quite a bit of success. They made top 12 at the World Crokinole Doubles. Ray was a finalist at the Turtle Island B Pool and Jason in particular has been a semi-finalist at both the Belleville and Turtle Island Championships. Now I'm a bit biased but I'm excited for this semi-final match so make sure to tune into this as well as the other one to see who will be moving on to the finals of the Scenic City Crokinole Classic. Before you jump into the action, here's what's coming up in the National Crokinole Association season over the next few months. There are five more tournaments before we hit the new year, and the one I want to focus in on is the Maryland Devils Crokinole Championship, which is happening this weekend. This tournament is hosted by the Charm City Crokinole Club. If you haven't heard of them before, they have been doing fantastic work in the Crokinole community. So the one thing I want you to do is make sure you go follow them on their Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or all of the above. You can see details about this tournament and get updates on the weekend. Make sure to go give them a follow and support this amazing club. After that, there is a whopping four tournaments in November. If you want to see the details on that, you can check out the National Crokinole Association page to learn more details and see how you can sign up to come compete. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the Scenic City Crokinole Classic and make it a great day.